Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome back to the Spinner Rack. This is issue 30. 30. 30. I am your host, Big B. Brian Adams, always joined by Junior, ho host of Comics Remix. Ho host. Ho host. <laughs> He's the ho host with the most. Yep. This week we're going to take our time to discuss some of our favorite comic books currently on the rack. Mm hmm. Since that's uh, something I don't think we've ever really done. No, I mean, I've got my, you know, like I said, I, I try to read everything, but I'm so far behind that I'm playing catch-up now, but I, there's certain books I have to read yeah. before I even put them out on the rack. There's, like, the must-reads. Yes. And there's the shit that you just read because... Because I, I can read my books Tuesdays, you know, right. before, I, before I put them on the rack. So I read them and then put them out, and there's, like I said, yeah, like you just said, there's must-reads. I have to read it. If I don't read the book, I get mad. Right. Yeah, there's, like, shit that I read out of necessity. Shit I read just because I have to review it. And then the things that I really look forward to reading. Now, I gotta say, one book that I want to check out, I noticed it's sold out here, and it's sold out in Diamond. Super. You reviewed Super. Yeah. I've been hearing some good stuff about so it. so good. Issue 2 dropped, and we sold out immediately. Really? Yeah, and then we had a restock of number 1. People can't... You got that book called Super? I'm just like, wow, people are asking for this? So I tried to reorder them, sold out. So I'm like, now I really want to read it. It's a damn... I, I'm gonna say, even though it's just come out... I look forward to reading. I haven't read issue two yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. <coughs> it's it's, it it's really a rehash of like I mean like like we've discussed before. There really are no original ideas. Yeah, and it's plays off a lot of ideas you've already seen. The content's a little more adult. Uh, it's I liked it, man. It was a good book, okay. uh, and I've been trying really hard on our on the Comics Remix Facebook page to try and review more independent books. Try and catch things when the first issues come out, mm -hmm. and that I have to say, out of like the twenty or 30 new number one independent issues I've read lately, that is at the top. Nice. I will pick that up and when the graphic novel comes out. I'll get the whole thing on my shelf. Cool. Because that's uh, it was really good. Nice. <laughs> that in that night of the 80s. <laughs> oh. Even though that's not really an ongoing, if you're if you're not picking up, what is that? Night, night of, of the, the 80s undead. undead. Oh my God. Especially if you're like, you at least got to be your age to appreciate that. Yeah. If you ain't like, 30s or older, I don't think you'll appreciate that book as much. You've got to know your 80s pop culture. <clears throat> You've totally got to know your 80s pop culture. And you know what? I'm going to be 38, and there are even some dudes that I'm like, who is that supposed to be? Right. I want to like, take it to my mind and be like, who's this? Do you remember <laughs> someone like this on the 80s on TV or on movies? But, uh... Alright, right off top. Top three books you got to read. Uh, like, you just have to read them as soon as they're out. <laughs> top three is hard. I'm going to go, uh... I'm gonna go Saga, Superior Spider-Man, and uh, and Wonder Woman. Really? Those are, yeah, those are like musts for me. Out of those three, I agree with you on two of them. We got the same yeah. ones: Superior Spider-Man, Saga, Saga, <laughs> and of course, I think you would know by now. I don't even have to mention it anymore. What? Oh, Turtles! Oh, see, I totally forgot about Turtles. It's such a great book. See, that's so. <sighs> and that's not me being biased because I'm a fan. It's just it really <clears throat> is a good. book. No, you know what? Uh, I'm. You're a way bigger Turtles fan than I am. Uh, I am a huge fan, though. That's a, just a great book. And it's not even because I love the property so much. It's just a good book. Did you read uh, the latest ones? I did. I didn't read the Rock Study and Bebop micro yet. Okay. But I did read the newest issue. See, I'm all right on the micro. Um, I thought it was... How do I, first of all, I'm not a big fan of the art in that book. No. No, not at all. Um, it was decent. You know, um... There's a little bit of backstory to who they were before they got mutated, mm -hmm. why they got mutated, you know. Oh, what the book did that I thought was cool was it played off of their personalities from the cartoon, that they were dumbasses, but they gave it more of a reason. Now you know why they are the way they are. Story-wise and, like, what they were trying to get across, I thought it was good. The villains micros have been very good. Yes, they have. The really Hun. Good. Hun was unbelievably great. I had... N that was a complete swerve. I was like, oh my god, it's Casey's dad? Right. That was just that out was, of left that field. That was good. That was a good... Woo! Yeah, no, the Turtle series has been, <coughs> been excellent, you know. Um, the artwork has been decent at times. At times, it kind of loses me. It's the, it's become a little cartoonish from when it first started. Yeah. But, but just in know, general, the story itself, the, the city the war... The story's and, been awesome, man. It's been great, you know, Wolverine, look at me. Uh, Leo now is on the side of the Foot Clan. Uh, yeah. But lately, especially in the latest issue, he's been having these dreams and these flashes where he sees his mother. Yeah, I can't wait to see how that plays out. And like, his mother's whole... like, 
don't you don't belong here. Are they she's really reincarnated? She's trying to. Yeah, they are. Like well, is, just, or is it? Or Splinter just fucking crazy? No, they are because Leo's having flashes of his mother's spirit, telling him, Leonardo, you do not belong here. She's like, this is wrong. Like, there's a a demonstration in issue uh, 27 where the Foot Clan assemble every gang member in New York. Yeah, I, I remember this. And uh, you read it already. And he decapitates the leader of the yeah, Spate. Yeah, yeah. And while Leo's seeing it, that's when the mother's like, you don't belong here. Yeah, he's had that here. dream about Shredder decapitating his brothers. Mm-hmm. And how he wasn't, yeah. That happened in the... That's a strange angle for that book, dude. The whole reincarnation is. thing. It is. It's, it makes it a little more interesting, though. I do like how they explain Shredder. I really do. Like, okay, he's the original Shredder. But, okay, if he's from feudal Japan, how is he still around? And, you know, the witch... Like how he was resurrected? Yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool. Now, did you see what they're doing in the cartoon? The the current cartoon, how they explain that? With, uh, with Karai and everything? Karai's Shredder's... Granddaughter or Cry is Splinter's daughter. Splinter's daughter, yeah. But they explain in the show, he's like, oh, it's his granddaughter or whatever, or his daughter, whatever the fuck it is. But yeah, I thought that was crazy. Karai being Splinter's daughter. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. So that means her and the turtles are brother and sister. Which means she'll become Venus. Oh my god, no. Yeah, that's terrible. No. Don't tell John that. Oh shit, don't let John. I have to cut edit this out so John don't hear it. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a damn quality book, man. It is. That's Let's talk about another quality book, Saga. Man, oh, that book is so great. Brian K. Vaughn, you kill him that shit. Yeah. And Fiona Staples, man, her artwork is just it matches. The there's bomb. just there's just some art that matches the story so well. Did you read the uh, 15? The newest issue that came out. The pink you? cover. No. Oh, no spoilers. Just Thank w- you. Just just <laughs> one scene in there though that I thought was great. I have to mention. Um, what I forget the lady, the girl's name, the mom. Not not the, the the main cast the the, the husband and wife the fugitive. right right yeah uh, Alana is that oh, her name yeah that's it she's frustrated at something I'm not say what she but she's frustrated so she's sitting outside you remember issue fourteen they went to the writers yeah uh, house. totally the guy so, with the one the yeah so like guy. on the beach or whatever so she's sitting out there frustrated and then uh, dude I can't know I don't know why I can't remember their fucking name. I know it's all I can remember is the girl's name and, Hazel yeah and then like people that aren't of consequence. Um, so like Prince Robot the Four. The the husband, whatever the fuck his name is, he comes in and uh, he's like, "What's wrong?" And she goes, "Put your pants down." He's like, "What?" She's like, "I want to suck the cop. Put your pants down now." And he's like, "Whoa!" She's like, "Look, I'm frustrated." All right. So they start talking about the problem why of why she's frustrated. So like I said, I'm not gonna tell you. So they get over the problem and everything. Then the scene changes and you're back in the house with his mom and the Cyclops guy yeah. and she's looking out the window and they're talking about you know the children and, and them, like what's safe and what's not she goes is Alana praying oh wait a minute nice. <laughs> I was like that's great that's great but it's no a, it's a great book man. it is it really is uh, like I said no spoilers uh, I won't tell you any story arcs or what, what happened in that issue because you haven't read it yet but Saga is just a great book. It's a tremendous what book. I recommend every time people come in here and say, what's different that's not Marvel and DC that you recommend? Saga is the very first book I recommend. And I always tell these people, you know where I work. I'm not going to recommend you garbage. Because right. if I do, you can come back and you know, you'll return it or whatever. <clears throat> or you'll come badmouth me. Trust me, you'll like Saga. And people say, well, describe Saga to me. To me, what I say is, it's a cross between Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. And when they kind of give me this look, I says, look, it's a space adventure that involves a lot of magic. You know, and it's just like this this uh, earthly feel with the planets and like you know, just you, you get what I'm saying. No, totally. It's, so it's got a, it's got a lot of fantastical elements. Fantasy, fantasy and, uh, elements, but in space. Fantastical. I just made up a word. All right, I wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> Sanchez, I wrote that. It's all me. <laughs> you told me to read it. This buddy of mine, Brent, told me to read it, and like I don't remember what made me. Oh, I waited for the trade. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. And then when the trade came out, I think I even bought. I think 7 and 8 had already come out before you guys got copies into the trade from your box. I think you sold out when it came out. Mm-hmm. So I already had like the next few issues sitting in my, at my house. And man, that's a fucking tremendous book. Dude. I've it read is. it two or three times. Oh. Um, moving on. Another book we agreed on. Superior, Superior Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Who would have thought? I don't, yeah, I know, man. When we first started this show, we, what was it like in our first maybe two or three episodes? Second, second and third episode. Our second, it was our third episode was Superior. Okay, and look at us now talking about it's one right. of our top reads. I think it's a top read because we're curious to see where it's going. Not that we enjoy the book. I think we re- it's one of those books. I, well, I know. I read it. Not that I enjoy it because it's like, okay, what's going to happen next? I love it, dude. Did, you read, did you read 20? No, I didn't. 
All right, I will. This definitely no spoilers, but I will say this. I'm behind. Did you uh, like Dan Slott was all over the internet? Awesome. Oh, uh, this was like the must read. This is the must read issue. This is the one you cannot miss. I was like, I read it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this crap? Like, it just didn't do it. No. Like, I kind of get. Did you maybe get caught up in the overhype by the? Well, no, because was he was like, you got to pay attention because this is gonna start a lot of stuff. So I saw what he meant because there was a lot of things starting that just got left there, like the black cat thing. It's like a quick two-page thing. Yeah. That's it. And I'm like, basically was, okay, we've got four directions we're going in. We're going to store, like, chapter one, here's this, leave it. Let's go to the next one. Peter does this. Oh, what what happened? We don't know. Go to the next story. Oh, Peter does that or this happens? Okay, go to the next. And you're just like, what? I don't see how it's a must-read issue or you cannot miss. I mean, I see what Slot was going for in terms of I'm building what's coming. Dude. Because you could totally see it, but. What about Miguel O'Hara being stuck in the 616. You mean Michael O'Mara Yeah, now? what the fuck was that? Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Why can't anyone... He's from the future. Like, it's not going to matter to me it's... that he's stuck there if they don't do something with yeah, him. Yeah, no, if they don't do something with him, it's... I think he's going to get his own book. You think so? Which is... Yeah, well, the, the, the Spider-Man corner of the Marvel Universe is about to get real slim. We're losing Scarlet Spider. We're losing Venom. We lost Venom already. Oh, Venom's gone already? Venom's gone. 42. Well, Scarlet Spider's gone and what another 25. Issue? Got two, two issues, issues. left. Two, three issues, what, 20, yeah, two issues left. That's such a good book, too, man. It is. Like, that's something I was like, uh... But, he's not going away. Well, to a point. The uh, book is going away. Scarlet Spider is joining the New Warriors, because New Warriors get a new book next year. <clears throat> oh, right, I, I, I read Nova, so... Now, who is under the mask was never revealed. They just said Scarlet Spider is getting... Uh part of the new event or new warriors they didn't say Kane is becoming part of the new warriors you know I have this feeling that uh, did you read Cataclysm point one I was I read half of it uh, kind of sucked today as a matter of fact I, I didn't finish reading it like first of all I, I don't understand uh, when, when did Vision and Sam Wilson hook up when the hell did that happen I don't know but isn't Vision a robot yeah Cyber freak. But I mean, you read, if you read the first part of it, it's all talking about how like they're in love and she can't feel love and all this shit. I read like the first two pages okay it's really bizarre okay but I really have this feeling that they're going to kill the Ultimate Universe off. It seems like it. They're going to bring the really solid characters into the Marvel into U. the six one six. Well, I, I read so maybe. See, I read Hunger today. I finished reading Hunger. Maybe Scarlet Spider is going to be good old uh, Miguel Miles. Oh, you think so? Miles Morales. See, I don't know. I mean, it would make sense. That kind of would. He, but I don't know what happens to Miguel or excuse me Michael um, no I read Hunger today and one thing that they don't explain I don't know if you caught it okay you remember when uh, Rick Jones puts on the Captain Marvel outfit uh-huh. and he teleports Galactus completely and he's like oh the threat is over and they're like no he's, it's not over but you see, you see the swarm laying there at the end and the swarm's like consume consume you don't see they don't mention where the actual Galactus went they just show the swarm sitting there which the, the Galactus swarm was part of the 616 Galactus is like body now you know it's body he yeah. controls it so it's like okay you teleported this ginormous fucking guy and they don't explain where he ended up I think he's in our solar system okay whereas he in hunger I don't believe he was really in the vicinity of earth he no he's in outer space and uh, he's in the ultimate universe yeah right yeah well, I believe when he transported him, it was closer to the Ultimate Earth. Well, because he showed up on Ultimate Earth. Yeah. That's why, and like, for some reason, they didn't alert the Avengers or any of these characters. They just alerted they've done. Him. They've done a really kind of a poor job with handling that stuff. Continuity. One thing I thought I, when I read Hunger that it was a total waste of page was Rick Jones's motivation. Like, he's like, I'm going home, and he shows up on Earth, and Watcher teleports him in front of Peter's house. And he sees the memorial, and he's like, Peter Parker was Spider-Man? Talks to Aunt Mary. And, no, Mary Jane. Oh, was it he's like, Parker? oh, you're that girl. She's like, oh, you used to live across the street. Like, really? Rick Jones fucking lived across the street from Peter Parker? Come on, you expect me to believe that? And she, he was like, oh, Peter liked you. He said you were a good guy. Really? I gotta go. I got a job to do. It was... For some reason, I felt like he was in... He did it for the pussy. I think he... <laughs> he was going for the panocha. You know? I think there was a nod to him in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics before. To so Rick that. Jones? Yeah. I don't know. I think that was actually in continuity kind of thing. Could be wrong. But yeah, it just seems like they're going to end it. Cause I've noticed every... Uh, ult- cause I have, I'm behind on the Ultimates universe. I haven't read it in years. So good. Um, that's what I hear. Like, the last time I read Ultimates was... Um, with Ultimate Spider-Man, it was when they finished the first volume, like at 133, before they relaunched it again. Not as Miles. Right. But when no, they relaunched when it as Peter. Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. And before it was renumbered with the death of Peter Nutt. Right, I right. haven't read any of that. I read up to when they canceled it at 133 the first time. Uh, with the Ultimate X-Men, I read it to like 75 when they introduced Cable. 
as far as I got. Fantastic Four, I think I got as far as like the Marvel Zombies, the introduction of that. That was the last time I read any Ultimate shit. Um, but I can tell by the covers, it seems like every story arc is like a world-shattering kind of thing. With the Ultimates, you had the Ultimates disassembled, you know, President Captain America or whatever the fuck that Dude, was. Dude, Ultimates disassembled was fucking great. Um, the X-Men stuff, it's like, oh, now it's like, what, Extinction X or whatever the hell it is. And it's just uh, now it's World War X. Whatever. It just see, it seems world-ending. Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man No More, how many times have we seen that in the title? You know, like, Well, that's, that's almost like a nod to when in Amazing when Peter Parker, like, dumped the mask. There. Right, they even did the same cover. That comic feels really fresh, but, uh, they, they, dude, they've been great. The X-Men, fucking, all the Ultimate books have been really solid lately, and that's why I'd be kind of sad to see them end, because most of the 616 sucks. They haven't really done anything that i fucking found, like, like, since the relaunch of Marvel Now, the only really solid Marvel Now book, in my opinion, has been Thor and Superior. Thor's been good. That's the best Thor I think I've ever read. I like Indestructible Hulk. Uh, it was good until they got into the stupid time traveling shit. It's okay. It's not. I'm not like. It's all right. Dare, uh, I don't know. Would you count Daredevil? Because it wasn't part I of wasn't Marvel. Re- yeah, I wasn't reading Daredevil. Well, it doesn't count because they didn't relaunch it. Too. They didn't count. Well, that's, not yet. It's got a few more issues. I love that fucking book. Mark yeah, it seems they always cancel the good books. What happens, man? Mark Wade can never get his credit, man. But as far as like, in, in my opinion, like indie books, the best indie books I'm reading right now are Saga, Super. Uh, and I really dug uh, the the Mocking Dead. Okay. But I'm not sure how long Mocking Dead's going to go on for. Okay. Uh, for DC, dude, Wonder Woman, Flash have just been they're their most solid titles in my opinion. I'm probably forgetting something. Well, Demon Knights was my other favorite, but that no longer exists. But I think Flash and Wonder Woman, Aquaman's kind of starting to fall a little bit. And I think that's because Johns isn't writing anymore. Those are their best books. Earth Two is still good, even though. Uh, Robinson left. So Earth 2, Flash, Wonder Woman, best DC. Marvel, Thor, Superior, and then all new X-Men. Everything else is kind of just like, ugh. I'm not enjoying Infinity. I don't know if you've been keeping up on Infinity. Not really. But it just kind of sucks. My issue with Marvel and their event books is every event is just a catalyst for the next event. Yeah, we've discussed it. And there's no end to it. And I feel like all Infinity is really doing... It's like, oh, let's give people, you know, we've got Avengers 2 coming out in a couple of years. Let's give people a, th- a current Thanos story, because he hasn't been around in a while. And at the same time, let's make the Inhumans the new mutants of the Marvel Universe. Pretty much. Why? There's plans to do a new mutants, uh, or excuse me, uh, Inhumans. Inhumans. Yeah, I know. So. I believe the idea at the end of Infinity is the Terrigen Mists are going to be released upon the Earth. Mm-hmm. So anybody that has the, infin- the uh, Inhuman gene is going to fucking get their powers. Yeah. So there's going to be like an influx of Inhumans. Kind of like there was that massive influx of mutants in the late 90s. No one cares. I'd say my top indie books, Turtles Saga. Ooh, um, I forgot Turtles. God damn, I always forget Turtles. I don't know why. Turtles Saga, both Transformer books, uh, Robots in Disguise and More Than Meets the Eye. Um, I would have to go also with... Uh, the hell is the name of that fucking book? That's bad that I don't remember. Nice. That Bounce is actually pretty decent. Um, there's... Man, there's actually a lot more. Well, I did Watson and Holmes too. Watson and Holmes is pretty good. Watson and Holmes. Is that was very surprising. That thing came out of fucking nowhere. Right. It did. Um, man, there's a lot of indie books that I read lately. I just for some reason the names are escaping me. Uh, new indie books. Rocket Girl was good. I liked the first issue. Of I, not, I bought. It, I did not read it yet. No, it was pretty good. It was um, a fun read. But I, I know, like I said, the two Transformers saga, Turtles, um, Ghostbusters is actually very entertaining. There's a lot of nods to the old school yeah. cartoon. Lots of nods. Um, there's a few I guess there's a few other things um, but like uh, with DC I would have to, I'm a lot behind on my reading so but from what I know from last I read I could say I have to agree with you Wonder Woman is very good um, I'm reading some of the Forever Evil stuff not really digging it too much because it's, you know, it's an event but I'm digging Wonder Woman uh, Batman I'm just kind of reading out of habit but I prefer yeah. Batman and Robin right now Batman and Robin has been or solid or the Batman and whoever, whatever yeah. flavor of the month Batgirl I'm actually reading a lot. That girl hasn't been bad. I'm getting kind of bored with it. So so, um, I'm a little disappointed that they announced the cancellation of Fables at 150. Yeah, I never really. It's read still Fables. not till like one. Uh, you still, it's supposed to be early 2015 that it gets canceled. But knowing that they're at 134 and 150 is already the right, last issue. Right, you've only got 16 issues left. Yeah. So, but um, I'm behind on Fables. But from what I remember reading, it was very good. Um, not a whole lot on the far as, far as far as DC goes that I'm just like, oh my god, this is great, this is great. You know, it's just like all mediocre to me. Yeah, no love for the Flash. 
Um, I'm very behind on it. It was all right to me. I didn't really. You know, I think the problem it. with the flashes is when the new Fifty Two started. There was they did so Manipal and I can't remember the other guy's name that was working up with him. They're doing so much setup in that first arc that pays off way down the line that mm-hmm. kind of like. Uh, but I like the handling of the rogues. Dude, the rogues have fucking been fantastic. Um, as far as Marvel goes, uh, uh, all new X Men I've been reading. Of course, Superior Spider Man I've been reading. Um, I've been trying to keep up with a lot of the Avengers books and shit like that, but there's just so much. Right, man. it's overwhelming. It is it's um, overwhelming. Definitely Daredevil on my top Marvel list. Got to read it. Uh, same with Indestructible Hulk and uh, blah blah blah. I uh, I was big on Deadpool, and then they started the Marvel Now launch, and it's just like, <laughs> you know, I, I really don't like it. Oh, um, not a, not a lot. Like I said, I read almost everything. It's just a matter of catching up to stuff. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, it's a problem. <laughs> What do you feel? How do you feel wrapping this up? I had to ask you a question because this is kind of current. How do you feel about the fact that DC just announced that they're going to do a like some fucking fifteen part crossover with Constantine for Forever Evil? I did not hear about that. That's going to go through Justice League Dark. It's going to go through Constantine. It's going to go through a bunch of different books. I didn't hear about that? No, no. Oh, suck! Huge suck! Really? Do, you, do we really need that? Do we need an event inside an event? Apparently. What the fuck? Well, you hear the Batman titles going, uh, well, not Batman, but, uh, he's got another, I think it's called Batman Eternal. Start the ship's January 1st, or yeah. like the first week of January. Yeah, because that's not going to bomb like Superman Unchained. It's going to be, uh, well, it's a weekly series. 52 issues. Superman Unchained's getting canceled. You heard that, right? No, I did not. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I read it somewhere. Wow. But it's just funny because I haven't seen a lot of that on the internet, so I wonder if it's just one of those internet rumors. Right. But it wouldn't surprise me because the book kind of sucks. Well, news, are, well. Yeah, but I mean, you got two guys like that, Jeff Johns and Jim Lee doing it. Jim Lee and Snyder. Snyder. Scott that's Snyder. Right, that's right. I read the first issue. I really wasn't impressed. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. And as a either. collector, I didn't like the fact that I had to buy two copies of number one to keep one of them in mint condition. Because it's got that full, uh, it's got a fold-out poster yeah. in the book. But <clears> instead <throat> of just being a poster, it's glued together. So you have to unglue oh, you know, that sticky sucks. glue. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't ruin the poster. It's right. just like that rubber glue. And you have to unstick it. And read the fucking poster because the poster has it's part of the story. Right, oh, that's lame. It is. It really is. But they're supposed to be doing that with uh, another book coming up, um, Detective Twenty Seven. It's supposed to be the same thing. Stephanie Brown's coming back in the Eternal series, that weekly series. Is that going to be in continuity for New Fifty Two? Who knows? Did you read Damien? No. Actually, really good. Really? Very surprised. It's all like not looking forward to reading. Very that. surprised because I was I- like. Andy Kubrick can't write. I got it on my list, but... And I read it, and I was like, that was pretty damn good. And the best part about it, dude, they got rid of... I don't know if it, like if it was a mistake or what. They got rid of the glossy paper, and it went back to the 90s newspaper print paper. I was I like... They're just trying to do that if people... I saw you said that. I was like, wow. I wonder if they're trying to do that just to be like, hey, if no one notices this, we could just get away with making this shit cheaper again. I didn't see a problem with it. If you're going to do that, though, put me back at two ninety nine. Because it's a three ninety nine book. Is it? Fuck, put it back at a dollar fucking seventy five. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. Well, fuck, I remember being 10 years old, feeling the come to comic book store and shit was like 65, 75 cents. You get four comic books for $3. For 10 bucks, you come home with like a shitload of comics. Yeah. You get like 12, 13, 14 comics. I remember seeing my neighbor coming back from the comic store with two big fucking bags, just bag and board it, like 50 books in each bag. Oh, dude, that must have cost a fortune. Yeah, like 70 bucks. Right. You know, you're like, wow! Nowadays, 50 bucks is like fucking dropping $200. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Well, that's it uh, for... For the year. Issue 30, and that wraps our year for the Spinner Rack. Please stay tuned. Uh, if you in, if you joined us for these uh, past 30 issues and you enjoy what we do, please stay tuned to our Facebook feed as well as Twitter, whereas uh, we will be announcing plans for the next season, not just for the Spinner Rack, but for Comics Remixed and all other projects we have on uh, uh, down in the pipeline, Season 3 uh, of Comics Remixed is going to be huge. We've got a lot of big plans for it. So, uh, But one thing is promised with the Spinner Rack, you will continue next year to get the same love and affection from me and Brian that you've gotten these last 30 issues. Right. Yeah, a lot more, a lot more stuff planned for next year. Oh, hell yeah. We've got to get some comic book arguments. We need to get Sanchez in here and we need to do AVX. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to tackle Cyclops. <laughs> I've been wanting to tackle AVX for a, since we started this shit. Yeah. AVX and The Walking Dead I think were my two must do issues. Mm-hmm. We've done one. So everyone have a good holiday. I know it's a little early, but 
two or three weeks away from Christmas, New Year's. Yeah. And we'll see you back here next year at the Spinneret. Have a safe holiday. Make sure you check out, before I forget, make sure you check out our Christmas special. Uh, Comics Remix Christmas special. I'm going to star the whole crew, myself, Sanchez, John. Brian will be on the show as well as Carrie. So uh, make sure you check that out. It should be fun. And if you go through withdrawals, check out our lovely back catalog. Please do. And spread the word. Until then, we'll see you next year in 2014. Take it easy, guys. Happy holidays. Peace. Thank you.